Hello again, I'm Andy Duncan, and my t-shirt today is from PM Press. It's a quote from Ursula Le Guin from her 2014 National Book Awards speech. We live in capitalism. Its power seems inescapable, but then so did the divine right of kings. I want to talk for a few minutes about performance about reading your work aloud before audiences. Um, this has nothing to do with flash fiction per se, but I will note that flash pieces make great performance pieces because they are short. First of all, seek out performance opportunities wherever you can. If nothing else, your writing cohort can take turns reading to one another. In my experience, though, even the rawest rookies have opportunities to read before strangers. Open mic nights are a great example. But there are other examples, often through public libraries, through bookstores, through arts agencies, arts councils. So when you are asked, say yes. And if no one's asking, maybe round up some friends and create your own event. The ideal length for a one-person reading is 20 minutes. My handy mnemonic is 20 is plenty. If the organizers insist on a longer slot, throw in a Q&A after the reading. Much of the work comes beforehand in selecting what you will read and practicing it. If it's longer than flash, think in terms not of complete stories or complete chapters, but of scenes. Ideally scenes with their own beats, their own beginnings, middles, and ends. Think of the structures, the pacing, of fables, of parables, of shaggy dog stories, of family anecdotes, of stand-up routines, of oral traditions. Pick something that doesn't need much introduction or explanation or setup. Story openings work well for that. Even if the piece is published, it's fine to do an edit for performance purposes. Edit for time, for audience, for simply making the piece better a fit for your mouth. Write out phonetically the pronunciations of any words you may trip over, even if they are words you made up. Practice aloud while timing yourself, but not too much. You want to sound in performance relaxed and to some extent spontaneous. When you are performing, make frequent eye contact with your audience, even if your audience is a camera lens. It's acting, gesture, communicate with purposeful body language and nonverbal sounds. <sighs> Inhabit the characters, the voices, the setting. If possible, move around, but don't lose the microphone because you always need the microphone and you always need to be loud to project. The highest compliment my mother ever gave my years of community theater after a show was, I could hear you. <laughs> Expect glitches and roll with them. Ellen Clages' classic Scary Ham monologue, which she performed during a Nebula Awards banquet years ago, was the hit of the evening. It was all ad-libbed into the mic to fill space during tech difficulties when the tech folks told her, we need 10 minutes, just keep talking. In your performance piece on a high note, a punchline, a cliffhanger, or the prose equivalent of an Irish shot as your character walks off into the sunset like Chaplin. What about afterward? If you had an off night, 
forgive yourself and move on. Don't dwell on it. If it was a sensational night, if you just killed it, congratulate yourself and move on. Don't dwell on it. Because performance, unlike writing, is ephemeral. You had to be there. Public readings are like sandcastles, like mirages, like the morning dew. That is their glory. I hope this helps a little. And this summer, while you're writing Flash, keep in mind that some of them might be performance pieces. Those are good things to have. Thank you all. See you soon.